Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix this app can't run on your PC. So right now, I have downloaded this application and when I try to click on it, it says this app can't run on your PC. But what you need to notice is that what is the message below that says to find a version for your PC, check with the software publisher. So this clearly indicates that the version of the application that you have downloaded it doesn't match with your windows operating system version all right so what i mean if you have 64 bit of operating system and if you have downloaded any kind of application of 32 bit so probably you will be getting the same error message all right so how you can find your own os version type so for that you need to click on your windows search type system then click on system information and here you will find system type so you can see I have x64 that means I have 64 bit of operating system and if it shows you x86 then you have 32 bit of operating system. Alright so what I can do I just need to take the name of the application that I'm having the problem with then you need to go to Google I will type the name of that application I'm having the problem with and before I will write download. Okay, so the website will be coming up i will click on it then i have to click on download and now here you will see all kind of versions and you can see it says 64.exe and x86.exe so probably i just downloaded this x86.exe and that is the reason i'm having the problem with all right similarly any application you are having the problem with you just need to go to that website the publisher website and download the right version of that application or software so let me quickly download this and now you can see i have downloaded this new version of this application or software so now if i double click on it i'm getting the option of run and not getting any kind of error message all right so probably your issue will be resolved from here but still if you have the issues what next you will have to do you need to make a right click on this setup file then you have to click on properties then from the top menu option you have to click on compatibility and here you will find an option run compatibility troubleshooter so click on it then it will start detecting the problem let you know then click try recommended settings then click test the program and then click on run so probably your issue will be resolved from here and if not then click on next Click yes, save the setting for this program. And you will see it says incompatible program and it has been fixed. So you can check back again. And still if you have the shoes, then again come back to this box. And then check the option compatibility mode. Run this program in compatibility mode. And from the drop down, choose the highest version of operating system. That is Windows 8. Check the option run this program as an administrator. Then click apply and then click on OK. Now once you are done you can check again if the problem has been fixed and if not next what you will have to do right click on your windows icon then click on settings in the settings search box you have to type developer then click developer settings and enable this option developer mode then click on yes and now you can close this box again click on your windows search type user account and you will be getting change user account control setting click on it and now here you will find always notify uh, this kind of bar you just need to drag this to the lowest then click on ok and then you again you have to click on your windows search type windows security click windows security from the suggestion here you have to click on app and browser control then you will find reputation based protection click reputation based protection settings and here you'll find check apps and files just toggle it off and then now you can check back if the application is running or not and so i'm very sure after applying all this solution you would be able to fix this problem of this app can't run on your pc and still if you have the issue then better go ahead restart your pc and again try to run it so hopefully guys this whole solution will surely give you the help and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe for any question any problem let me know in the comment section Till then, take care. Bye-bye.